As a friend, I want you to have a girlfriend, so I set up a matchmaking party. Seriously, thank you. By the way, you invited me just to make up the numbers, didn't you? Why did you shut up? This is how I, Yuya Takigawa, ended up attending a matchmaking party. Until now, in my second year of university, I have never been able to find a girlfriend. How kind of him to be so considerate of me. I've got a good friend. Please, continue to be good friends with me. What shall I do? All the girls coming today are beautiful. So I can't say now that I invited this unpopular guy to keep me all the girls to myself. Great! I'll make a girlfriend. And so, on the day of the party, there were three people there who normally hate me. Why are you here? Her name is Miyabi Matsuda. She is a second year student in the same faculty. She is a beautiful woman who is highly popular with the guys at the university and is known as a cool beauty. As you can see, she doesn't like me. Why are you here? Her name is Ryoko Takeuchi. As you can see, she is very innocent looking and, like Miss Matsuda, is very popular with the guys. By the way, she hates me too. And the one who no longer even looks at me is Akane Omeo. As you can see, she's a flashy girl. And needless to say, she hates me too. Um, what's with this party? It's too awkward. Why are all these people who hate me gathered here with such coincidence? Oh, hey! What's with this lineup? Are you harassing me? You know they all hate me. Is that so? Don't play dumb. You know, all three of them are always staring at me. If anything, they're looking at me with eyes like they're looking at a rubbish right now. But those girls said they were coming after I told them that you have been invited too. What? Really? I think they really went for it after I mentioned your name. Until then, they didn't seem like they'd come to a party. Maybe you're surprisingly popular. Or maybe not. Oops. That's heinous. Then, while I was in a very awkward situation, the guys who attended the party were all trying to hit on the three of them. My friend was also desperately trying to hit on them. Hey, hey! What do you like to do? Why do I have to tell you that? Uh, yes. Um, well, what do you like? I know a bit about music. I actually play guitar. Sorry, I'm not interested. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> That cold attitude, which made us wonder why they had come to the party, seemed to have completely broken the hearts of the men, including my friend. No, really. Why did they come? So, Takigawa. Ah, uh, yes, I'm Takigawa. Why are you attending the party? That's right, why? Why? Because I wanted a girlfriend. What? what? You don't have a girlfriend? Huh? If I did, I wouldn't be at the party, would I? What? Oh, wait. I thought you were going out with Ryoko. So, I thought I'd ask you what your intentions were for going to the party. What? I thought Miyabi and him were going out. So, I was wondering why Takigawa was going to attend the party. We're not going out at all, though, are we? Rather, why did you think that? I thought you were going out with one of the two of them. So, you're saying that none of us are in a relationship with them? That's what it means. Isn't it? Oops. There seems to be something disturbing here. Uh, Takigawa, I like you. <laughs> uh, it's not fair. I like you too, Takigawa. What? What are you two suddenly saying? There are things you can say in jest and things you can't. Do you think I would say something like this in jest? Yeah. Huh? Oh, Miyabi could, but I'm not joking. Whoa, I'm not joking either. Believe me, Takigawa. No, I don't believe you. Until now, you've hated me. That's because uh, I thought you were going out with Ryoko. I thought you were going out with Miyabi. 
Let's put aside why you had such a misunderstanding. What does that have to do with you hating me? We can't approach someone who has a girlfriend. That's why I dared to act like I hated you and try to stay away from you. If I don't do that, I can't suppress my feelings of liking. Even if I get close to you while holding on to feelings of love, it's only hard on both of us. Is that how it is? Especially since Miyabi and I both know that we like the same person. It should make you feel uneasy to have a rival in love by the side of the person you love. Then, for my own sake, and for the other persons, I thought it would be best to keep our distance. But you kept coming on to me. To be honest, it was a bit hard for me. It's quite heartbreaking to treat you coldly. Well, I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to get close to beautiful women. So, I was just talking to them. But, I see. So, that's the reason why they didn't like me? Then, why you attended a matchmaking party then? That's because I heard that you're going to a party even though you have a girlfriend. I wanted to question you. I see. But, I was surprised. I didn't expect Ryoko to be here too. I was surprised too, but if Takigawa isn't going out with anyone, then it makes sense. Yes, that's true. Are you too close? Not at all. Oh well. What's so sad that I have to be friends with my love rival? That's right. <laughs> oh, speaking of love rivals, there's one more. Don't you have anything to say? What? Oh, no. I don't have anything to say. Nothing? Your phone's wallpaper is Takigawa. So there's no way you can say there's nothing you want to say. That's right. It's better for your own sake if you confess quickly. Ugh. Damn it. That's right. I like him too. Just like you two who kept your distance until now. And just like you two who joined the party. I like him like you two do, okay? <laughs> You like me too? Huh? <laughs> I see. In other words, the three of them hated me, but in fact, they liked me. The time has come for me to become popular with girls! Yay! I would like to rejoice, but... Well... This is awkward. I want to go home. Then, the party continues in an awkward atmosphere. The guys are completely in a wake. On the other hand, as for me... Here you are. I'll feed you. I can't put in mouth any further. My sides are seized by these girls. What? Are you trying to tell me that you can't eat from my hand? What are you holding back? Look, don't be shy. Men like this kind of thing, don't they? Well, I don't dislike it, but... But to be honest, I'm not very happy about it. Even though two beautiful women are feeding me, I'm more puzzled than anything else. I'm not sure how I feel about being suddenly told that they like me. Open your mouth. Here you go. Also, I'm too stuffed. There's still food. Open your mouth, please. Ugh. All right. I want both of you to tell me why you fell in love with Takigawa. <laughs> I'm interested in that, too. I'm also curious as to why you all fell in love with Takigawa. <sighs> Finally, I was released. Could it be that she just saved me? Then, let me start with you. The time I fell in love with Takigawa was... Uh, well, that was shortly after I entered university. When I was being involved with some of the older students of the university, Takigawa sashayed up to me like a prince on a white horse and saved me. I couldn't help but feel something at that moment. Since then, I found myself following him with my eyes. <sighs> Takigawa was so cool at that time. Stop it. I'm not the prince on a white horse. I was saved by him too. I was being chased around by a strange stalker and I was worried. But Takigawa gently held my hand and said, Don't worry, I'm here for you. 
And thanks to Takigawa, we were able to catch the stalker. He's truly my hero. Oh, that time, he was really cool. Stop it. Aren't I too idealized? Did I do something that cool? Aren't you saving girls too much? Indeed. So, what about you, Misomeo? Who started this topic all? What? No, I don't... It's not fair that the person said it first doesn't tell us while we are asked. Uh... Okay, okay. Um... Well... I'm in the same high school as Takigawa. In high school, I was plain and conservative. That's right. In high school, Miss Omeo wasn't flashy like she is now. She was more like a book girl with pigtails. I was interested in fashion and makeup. I wanted to try it. Uh, but I gave up because I thought it wouldn't suit me anyway. But it was Takigawa who pushed me back. So, you fell in love with Takigawa, didn't you? Compared to the two of you, it's nothing at all. <laughs> That's not true. For you, that was something very important, wasn't it? It's not something to compare with us. Oh, more than that, I'm jealous that you and Takigawa have known each other since high school. What? I thought so too. It's not fair. What? Well, I'm completely out of the loop. By the way, Takigawa. Yes, I'm Takigawa. You came to the party to get a girlfriend, right? That's right. Then... Can I... Uh, run for your girlfriend? What? I'm running for too. What? What? No, I'm... What are you refraining from? Come on, raise your hand. Don't be shy. Come on in. You like him, don't you? Why are you doing such a thing? Like helping the love rival. I have no intention of that. It's just that I think the game should be fair. That's what I mean. It's his decision to make in the first place. Although, I can't deny the fact that I'm going to be his first. No, no, it's me. So, later on, I had a date with the three of them in order to judge them fairly. On that date, I'm told I have to choose a girlfriend out of the three of them. Um, how about my will? No way! Ah, uh, okay. Well, even as me, I want a girlfriend. I know it's a bit of a luxury to choose one of the three, but I'll follow them here and I'll decide after I've dated everyone. It's for their own good, too. A few days after the party, the day of the date. When I went to the meeting place, there was a crowd of people. Hey, what are those beautiful women? I see 530,000 combat power. What beauty power? I wonder if I have to go in there. I feel awkward. I want to go home. Ah, Takigawa, good morning. You're right on time. I'm going to make you melt with my charms today, so be prepared. I wonder if I'll get stabbed in the back today. Let's get going then. It's a date, and I don't want to waste a second of it. Yes, you're right. Shall we go? I guess so. <sighs> Could it be that what just happened was that she saw the situation and led me away from here? Hmm... What? Your clothes! They look good on you! Huh? Boo! Hey Takigawa! Don't you have anything from me? That's right! Why do you only praise her? It's not fair! I want you to praise me too! Of course you two look good! Well, of course! <laughs> then, with both sides held firmly by beautiful women, the date began. Oh my god! My heart is raising! Ah, this shirt is cool! No, no way. way! What? I wonder if you have hopeless taste in clothes. I don't think so. Who picked your today's date outfit? When I said it was a date, my mother forced me to wear this. Actually, I was going to wear something cooler and more fashionable. What does it look like? 
It's even cooler than this! Well... What's wrong? Oh, I think this one looks good on you. No, no! I think this one looks better on you! Then, the two of them started arguing to see who could pick out the clothes that would look better on me. Well, I'm totally out of the loop. Um, these are a bit expensive. Are you looking at the clothes? Whoa! Don't talk to me so suddenly. You startled me. It seems like you've been watching from the side all this time. Is it okay if you don't join in? That kind of thing is not my thing. Hmm. Or rather, your taste in clothes. It hasn't changed since the old days. Do you think it's weird? Weird. But that's okay. You're not the type to worry too much about the way people look at you. That's true. So, you can wear whatever you like. I admired your freedom and had the courage to change my look. I want you to stay the same. Was it me who inspired you to change your look? I told you at the party. When I thought there were weirder guys than me, I wasn't afraid to try a makeover. I see. What is it? I don't think you praised me just now. If I hadn't met you in high school, would I have remained plain for so long? It's not that there's anything wrong with being plain, is it? But I wanted to change. I wanted to be the glittering world of the magazines. But changing is scary, isn't it? If I suddenly changed my hair to blonde or something, people would think, what's wrong? I think there are a lot of people who can't take the first step like that. That's true. That's why I'm grateful to you, because you were there. I could do what I wanted to do without worrying about others. I see. Well, that's not to say that you don't have great taste in clothes. Huh? It's funny. I think they're cool. Oh, right. Thank you for what you did. You know, you're very attentive, considerate, and helpful. Well, those two are a bit too oblivious to their surroundings. That's true. It seems like they didn't care about that I was being out of the loop earlier either. It's not about what we just said. I mean, you do what you want to do. But you have to think about other people's inconvenience. I think you have to draw a line. I don't think it's good to force your ideas on someone else or deny them. Yes, I agree. It's difficult though. If you do what you want to do and it causes trouble for someone else, you shouldn't do it. You are thinking about a lot of things. We're already in our second year of university. While I'm thinking about the future and all that, I get sidetracked and think about all sorts of things. I can understand that. I think about it a lot too. I often think about world peace and so on. You're lying. No, no. I really think about world peace. Then what else do you think about? Like wanting to be sandwiched between women's legs? Um, just joking. Can you please stop staring at me seriously? You have a leg fetish? Yes. That's a quick answer. I think legs, especially thighs, are really nice. Can you not say that with a straight face? I want to grow up and be able to say I like what I like. I think that's a very good thing, but... There are things you can't say and things you can't. I think your legs are really nice too. Do you know what sexual harassment is? Hey, don't you two look like you're having a lot of fun? It's unfair! Sorry. I was just sexually harassing her. You're aware of it. You're an asshole. And so, the date continued. And the time came. Well, that's the end of the date then. Who did you want to go out with? Of course, you have to choose one, okay? I know. My answer is already decided. I want to go out with Miss Omeo. What? Me? Oh, oh no. no! You've both been shot. Why me? Why not? No, but I'm happy. But, but, they are prettier than I am. You're pretty too. That's just because I'm wearing makeup. 
I can't show my bare face to anyone, and you know how I used to be. What's wrong with that? That's because... I fell in love with you. Is that not good enough? Well, no, but... You say they're better than you, but there's no need to compare yourself with other people. The most important thing to remember is that you are you. Um... Um... Are you sure you're okay with me? I'm pretty heavy. I'll work on my muscle training so I can lift you with one hand. I don't mean my weight. I know. You really won't regret it? I won't know that until we're in a relationship, but I'm sure I won't regret it. You're capable of thinking about me and yourself. I think it's going to work out. If that's the case, um, I'm more than happy to be with you. Me too. Well, we've completely lost. Good luck, Miss Omeo. Thank you. That is how I ended up going out with Miss Omeo. Bonus manga. Well... Oh no! The two of you were screwed. I didn't want Takigawa to think of me as a troublesome woman, so I held back in front of him. I really wanted to cry all the time. <laughs> this is my first heartbreak. It's pretty painful. If it wasn't for the two of you, I'm sure I wouldn't have been able to express my feelings. So, I'm really grateful. Today, I'll buy you a drink. Thank you. Congratulations. Here, drink. Drink. It's my treat. Then, we became best friends for life. But, Yuya doesn't know this. <laughs>